Hello learner, I welcome you once more to our economics class. Today we will be introducing the subtopic on unemployment. Unemployment. Unemployment is the other segment under the topic of inflation and unemployment. So under unemployment, we will discuss the definition of unemployment, types and causes of employment, control measures of unemployment, and the relationship between unemployment and inflation. And in looking at the relationship between inflation and unemployment, we will consider the Phillips curve. So that is the brief adumbration under that topic of unemployment. That topic of unemployment. So that is going to be our focus from today until we cover that bit on unemployment. And I know you must be having a clue of what um, unemployment is all about because just as in many countries Kenya in Kenya most people seek jobs after completing their education while some seek to start their own businesses when you go through school you go to college your intention or your expectation is that you may land yourself a job because the purpose of schooling and training is so that you can get the skills that will enable you to work and earn a living or express yourself. So after school, many people learn themselves jobs, others start their own employment. So some of those who seek jobs may get them while others may not. Those who get jobs are said to be employed. Those who get jobs are said to be employed and those who do not get jobs are said to be unemployed okay so this is the opposite unemployed means not employed so after schooling and training and going through all the um, phases of learning people seek jobs there are those who get jobs when you get jobs you say I'm employed okay so that when you meet your old friends or your friend maybe in the street your friend asks you or your colleague former uh, college mate or school mate well, in most cases the first question is where are you nowadays where do you work nowadays then you say i'm employed at manifested publishers that means you are working at manifested publishers if your colleague is not working then he tell you i'm unemployed I'm not employed. That means he has not gotten any gainful work or employment. So that is the meaning of employment. So the term employment refers to a state where an individual is gainfully occupied, either working for oneself or for somebody else. Okay? It is a state where an individual is gainfully occupied. An individual is gainfully, gainfully occupied. That means you have an occupation that is gainful. Okay? You work and you are paid. Alright? Uh, because here we are talking about 
gainful okay gainful occupation gainful occupation either working for oneself or working for somebody else working for somebody else unemployment on the other hand refers to a situation where people who are willing and able to work cannot get jobs so an an unemployed person is one who is willing and able to work but cannot get a job to work willing and able able means the person is trained he has the skills he has the will to work the person has even made applications the person wakes up in the morning to go to industry area to go to wherever place to seek for employment but he does not get an opportunity to work so such a person we say is unemployed all right but you cannot talk of being unemployed where you do not have skills in the first place and you are not willing such a person cannot be termed to be unemployed that is another case okay so a person who is willing and able to work but does not get an opportunity to do so then such a person is said or termed to be unemployed so we will now shift and uh, move on to discuss the types of unemployment unemployment can be put into various categories based on the cause the various types of unemployment may be discussed and they may include cyclical unemployment number 1 number 2 structural unemployment number 3 frictional unemployment number 4 seasonal unemployment number 5 residual unemployment number 6 disguised unemployment number 7 kinesian unemployment kinesian unemployment so these are the types of employment unemployment that we want to discuss starting with cyclical unemployment cyclical unemployment This is the type of unemployment caused by periodic changes in the level of economic activity within the country. Economic or economies generally operate in cycles. These are periods of economic boom, economic slump, and so on so for example um economic boom characterized by increased demand for goods and services as a result of general increase in the purchasing power of consumers okay economic boom is characterized by increased demand for goods and services as a result of the general increase in the purchasing power of consumers where the economy is doing very well there is a boom we talk of economic boom economic boom where the economy is booming and how do you tell an economic is an economy is booming that is where the individuals within that economy have the have a high purchasing power purchasing power and because of this purchasing power these individuals um, are 
in demand, high demand for, there is high demand for goods and services. And remember our definition of demand. Here we are not talking about, not just talking about wishing to have a certain good or service. Here we are talking about the willingness. Demand is simply the willingness and the ability, ability to purchase. Okay? Demand, when you talk of individuals having high demand for goods and services, we are, willing, we are talking about the willingness and the ability. Individuals are willing and able to purchase. The purchasing power is high. So when there is increased um, demand for goods and services within the economy and the individuals within the economy have purchasing power because you are saying that the economic boom is characterized by increased demand for goods and services as a result of a general increase in the purchasing power of consumers. During such periods, firms expand their production capacity. They expand their production capacity. And the reason why they expand production capacity is so that they can meet the need for this demand. Because when there is demand, then there would be need to supply and meet this demand. So the, um, during these periods, farms expand their production capacity. They hire more people to produce goods and services to meet the increased demand. And during this period, employment opportunities are created. That is a cycle, okay? That is a season in the economy when things are moving on very well. If people have money, there is demand for goods, suppliers can supply the goods, and the companies are expanding their economic capacity so that they can meet demand for goods and services and there is employment of people during that cycle. Now the economy also experiences periods of economic slump. The economy also may experience periods of economic slump. Economic slump. What do we mean by economic slump? During economic slump, there are low levels of economic activity and the purchasing power of the consumers is low. The economy faces a general decrease in demand for goods and services. This decline in economic activity is uh, referred to as trade slump. There is a trade slump. Firms are therefore forced to scale down their production activities and hence reduce the production of goods and services. Many people are rendered jobless as a result of economic activity or cycle fluctuations resulting in cyclical unemployment. Okay, so that is what happens. In life, there are seasons, ups and down, ups and down. This time to have economic boom. After economic boom, you are most likely to experience economic slump or what we call trade slump, which is the opposite of what happens here. During this time, unlike during the economic boom, there is low purchasing power for, uh, for consumers. There is low demand for goods. And as a result of that, many companies will slow down, will cut down on production.